Bonjour, Kinemagi and Ine, Ireland and Dejnikas, and welcome to another episode of our U.S. Citizenship Study. This week's episode, questions 86 through 90. We welcome you to this episode. As a reminder, the people, places, and events that are mentioned here are part of the study of a United States citizenship and is also representative of the questions that our immigrant community answers when taking the assessment to become a US citizen. Let's begin with question 86, name one US state that borders Mexico. And you can see our long border from Tijuana to Brownsville, that is the Mexican border. And the states are Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Let's learn more. Name one state that borders Mexico. There are four states that border Mexico, California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Mexico is the country to the south of the United States. All of the states that now border Mexico were once part of Mexico. The states on the border share some of their culture with Mexico. Those states are California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Now question 87. What is the capital of the United States? And that answer is Washington, D.C. And you see the image on the left of the iconic Washington Monument. Over here you have the Jefferson Memorial. And then you move up here towards the White House and the rest of the high points of our government. Let's learn a little bit more. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States. In 1800, the federal government moved to Washington, D.C. D.C. stands for District of Columbia. Senators and representatives meet at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. to make laws. The president lives and works at the White House in Washington, D.C. Supreme Court judges make decisions at the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States. Question 88, where is the Statue of Liberty? And the answer to that is New York Harbor located off the coast of New York City in the state of New York. Let's learn more. Where is the Statue of Liberty? The Statue of Liberty is on an island in New York Harbor. In 1886, France gave the statue to the United States. Many immigrants came by boat to New York the Statue of Liberty was the first symbol of the United States they saw. The statue represents liberty. The statue is a famous symbol of hope. It is a symbol of starting a new life in the United States. The Statue of Liberty is in New York Harbor. Just a few more fun facts on the Statue of Liberty. It was a gift to us from France. And there are other versions, including one in France. Let's go to number 89. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? The answer to that is each stripe represents one of the original 13 colonies. The images of the next in the next two slides will include 
from the flag that flew over Fort McHenry that was the motivation for the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem, currently housed in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., and is available for viewing. Let's learn more. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? The United States flag has 13 stripes because there were 13 original colonies. Today, the United States is an independent country. Before that, it was 13 separate colonies. Great Britain governed the 13 colonies. The 13 colonies worked together to fight the British. They won the War of Independence in 1783. The colonies became an independent country called the United States of America. The 13 original colonies became the first states. The flag has 13 stripes to represent the 13 original colonies. And number 90, why does the flag have 50 stars? And that is because each star represents one of the current states in the union. With the admission of any new states, you will find the addition of one new star. Let's learn more. Why does the flag have 50 stars? The United States flag has 50 stars because there is one star for each state. After independence from Great Britain, the United States had 13 states. Then, the United States grew. Many immigrants came from around the world. The country grew bigger. The borders expanded. New states formed. A star was added to the flag for each new state. Today, we have 50 states, so the flag has 50 stars. And that'll wrap up this week's episode. All images found within are found via Google search. I do not own the rights to any included images, video, or music, and all are intended for educational purposes only. Again, I want to say miigwech for viewing this episode. To practice, please visit this week's Quizlet at the link included within your Google Classroom and within the attached Google slide. Have a minute, Gijigad. Minwa, Pamapi.